Hey YouTube, it's me and welcome to the Dear God Are We There Yet channel. Uh, this is a part of the Budgets and Business series. First, I want to say, have you checked out the podcast every single Tuesday? We're on Spotify, Android, iTunes, Apple, um, I think I missed a couple, but uh, you can get the link in the bio on the bottom and uh, you can listen and tune in to the podcast. We also have the podcast that comes on YouTube. So that's actually good in case you miss it. So today I want to talk about, do I really need a budget? Like this video is all about the segue into the series of, I like big budgets and I cannot lie. Um, so do I really need a budget? So when I started this channel or even before I started this channel, I used to work with clients um, all the time about their businesses and their budgets, their brands and how to save money and how to negotiate and all kinds of stuff. Um, and the number one thing I realized is that budgets is something really, really big. A lot of people either don't know have a budget, they don't know how to budget, they just spend, they have a budget, it's called an air budget, because they know that the budget's there, but they're not really like, I got a budget. And, um, and then they have all these goals in their business or in their personal life, and then they're not able to kind of accomplish them in a timely manner or see results, and it all has to do with your budget. So I have my little notes here because I definitely want to stay on track because you know me, I can talk. I love to talk. But, um, but I want to just scale back of like why do we need a budget and why it's so important. And a part of you probably says, well, it's probably overwhelming and you don't know where to start and you're just, you're all over the place. So I'm going to start off with telling you why you need a budget. First things first, financial freedom for you and whatever that means to you. We all have goals, aspirations, dreams, um, whether it's taking a family vacation, either it's buying a new home or buying another home or buying an investment property or whatever the case may be. And you might say to yourself, well, how am I gonna get there based on what I'm making or what I'm bringing in for my business? If you're an entrepreneur and your business owner, you need to have a budget. And I see out there, and I used to tell this to my clients all their time, where I see professionals, like branding professionals or business gurus or coaches, and they have all these amazing programs out there. And what I figured out is I've, the common denominator of all of them is money. Because what happens is that people have a different relationship when it comes to money. So you can have all these tools out there, you can have all these amazing things, but if their mindset towards money and their relationship with money is not a positive one, and I'm not saying positive is in positive in your bank account, I'm saying positive is in control and um, discipline and um, you know, oriented, you know, focused, then, you're kind of just talking to a wall, you know, because you're not gonna get results like that. So I wanna say if you're an entrepreneur, you definitely are gonna use these tips. Um, I am not going to tell you just why you need a budget, but I'm gonna give you budgets that I use, that my friends use, my families use, like people that I are, that call me or even clients that said, hey, I need help with my budget. Um, for years, I've been on budgets. I've been on all types of budgets. I've been on all types of different um, formulas. And what I will tell you this, that there's no one size fits all, seriously. So I don't believe in giving you, giving Charlie, giving whatever uh, the same budget because everyone's income is different and everyone's goals are different. So why you need a budget? So goals is the number one thing. If you have goals and you have dreams if you have desires and you have all these different things you know that there's a financial aspect um you know attached to it if you want to buy a home it ain't easy to buy a home these days like it really isn't and um it, things have changed and or even if you want to um you know travel and you have a family or maybe you want to travel with your business and open up other different 
locations if you have a standalone there's always going to be a financial factor on top of it or in addition to it so let me get to my point the future <clears throat> okay the future is important we see it we have our vision boards we're like yes i love it the future is great but i want to focus on the most important thing of why you need a budget is your present moment present moment so i want you to you can stop this video unless you already know and log into your online account and see what you have in your account and we're not talking about your checking we're not talking about your savings like your immediate save we're talking about long-term investments we're talking about retirement funds we're talking about all that good and fun stuff that a lot of people don't talk about because they're only talking about the surface stuff which is well I can afford this right now or I got money coming in and it's I'm comfortable right now let me tell you something the economy changes every single day the stock market changes every single day society changes every single day resources change every single day and so if we are not positively in our mindset just confident in our budget and the way we spend our money or in the way that we save our money then when the economy feels like doing its own thing or society feels like doing its own thing or our businesses feel like doing our own thing then you're gonna be like oh man what do i do now so i'm gonna just tell you that your present moment whatever you're in your checking account or your savings account whatever the case is i will say this i'm not going to say that it's good or it's bad or whatever i'm just going to say there's room for improvement everybody has room for improvement i mean could you retire right now i can't retire right now i wish i could retire right now and i'm not going to sit here and say yes i can retire right now no and that is the problem with understanding if you need a budget because we say oh well you know, I want to make a million dollars. Okay, do you want to make a million dollars tomorrow? Are you going to invest that? Do you know that there's taxes on it? And all that good stuff. So having a budget, it's not just about cash flow. Having a budget has to do with your credit, having to do with your investments and your future. So this is the number one reason that you should definitely have a budget. And if you have a family, if you're married or you have a significant other or you have children um, extended or, you know, because sometimes um, grandparents live in with us or whatever the case is, and you have to plan as well for them. Um, because if especially if you're taking care of them so we live in a society sometimes where we're just thinking about now this feels good and um i'm gonna buy that because i'm gonna buy it and it looks nice but we're not thinking about the um the emotional aspect of it of if we didn't invest in that or if we didn't buy that what could we do with that money so do i really need a budget look at your bank account and your bank account's gonna tell you based on your future goals if you need a budget and guess what the answer is we all need a budget huge huge corporations all kinds of different successful from a business point of view or business point of view or personal have these people called accountants that basically do the budget for them so if you're asking yourself well i know people that don't have a budget no 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 people who are super smart with their money people who hold on to their money who have money for a long time and it's not just about money i want to say that it's more about again the freedom for your financial um whatever that whatever that definition is it's th that's what your freedom is and it's having respect for your money and knowing the value of your money because as little as it comes it can go so present and of course the future but another one is your past um and as you go into my, my next series my entire series i'm going to break this down of why we have these relationships with money and why we feel some type of way i'm gonna give you a little story time so growing up i grew up in a home where my father did the majority of the budgeting and he is brilliant I always write this about it and anything that I share he is brilliant when it comes to money no 
My dad didn't go to college. Nope. My dad doesn't have a PhD or a degree or any of that. So he didn't go to Harvard or whatever. But he is brilliant with investing. He's brilliant with credit. Like credit to like the goddess. You know, if credit could be like a thousand, that would be my poppy. Um, but growing up, I always, I always associated with, oh, he's not gonna let us buy this, or oh, he's so cheap. Oh, why he's so frugal? And I didn't get it because when you're a kid, you you see things differently. You just wanna, you know, wear the Nikes like everybody else, and you wanna just, you know, go to school all lavish and. The way my house was set up, there was a checking and there was a savings and there was a savings and a savings and a blah, 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 blah. But there was four of us and it was a big family and I had a lot of my immediate, uh, my external family sometimes, you know, um, coming and going would take vacations. My whole point was that my relationship with money growing up was very different. I thought my dad was always cheap. As I grew older, I started to understand like, no, he's not cheap. This dude is smart with his money. Like oh my god he is super smart and he is doing it his way the way he wants it the way he can control it and the way that it will be for his benefit and for his future and his family and so my relationship with money started to change so i want to ask you this question because you're going to keep asking yourself do i really need a budget i should start my budget tomorrow it's just like you know when you're trying to lose weight, I'm gonna start on Monday, I'm gonna start on Monday. Monday comes, you don't start. So what is your relationship with money and why haven't you started a budget or why do you fall off your budget or why don't you do your budget or why do you stick to your budget or why does your budget change so often or why you can't, maybe you're not saving enough, maybe you're listening to all these different ways and they're like, I can't do the 20% or I can't do the 15% and maybe 15 or 20% doesn't work for you or you're giving it away or you're spending a lot on just crap if you ask me you know or you're buying that gucci bag not to throw shade but you don't even have gucci bag money times 12 in your bank account again i'm not throwing shade i'm just keeping it real the reason why i'm keeping it real is because again back to my moment um when i was growing up my dad used to ask us these questions. He used to say like, I'm gonna give you $20 or $50 or $100 and I wanna see how long it's gonna take you. Now, there was four of us. I'm not gonna tell you who was the first to always spend it, but I like to spend it. I always, I, mean, I was the only girl, so I'm like, I always felt like I needed something. But did I really need it? And so this whole entire budget series is going to come to that point to really not just look at your relationship with money and how to budget for you because there's no one size fits all so in the next couple of videos i'm going to show you my budgets like literally you can download my my worksheets you can download my all the rules the four by four rule that i actually made up i need to trademark it um the 50 30 20 rule that a lot of people know that dave ramsey but i kind of do my own thing with it because again some things can't be so set in stone. Um, there's also the envelope system, which is really, really popular, but it doesn't work for everybody. And when I say that it doesn't work for everybody, we're all at different levels with budgeting. So if you've budgeted before and your thing is like, you have no control, then it's good to kind of put the training wheels back on you with the envelope system and then get off of it because the whole point of having it a budget is that you love it and you're in love with it that you're not gonna these systems are gonna go so come so naturally that you're gonna start making up your own and that's the whole point of this i like big budgets and i cannot lie so um check out the next couple videos that are going to be about the entire series where you can download the worksheets and all that and so keep asking yourself do you read and do you really need a budget do you really need a budget yes you do everybody needs a budget